One of the most significant advantages of being a royal is the luxury and money that come with a family name. While some members of the royal household opt to live regular lives, others take delight in their wealth and squander it like water without a second thought. Living in a lovely palace or throwing a royal dinner may appear extravagant to the average person, but here are some royals that have pushed their rich lifestyles to a whole new level. And today, we're going to talk about one such prince who spent money without even a second thought. Can you guess who we are talking about? No? Then stay tuned to find out. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. And by royal, we of course mean Mohammed bin Salman, Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. But first, let's explore who this Prince Salman really is. Known simply as MBS, Mohammed bin Salman is both the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister of Saudi Arabia. His full name is Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. He was also in charge of defense for the country. His father, Saudi King Salman bin Abdulaziz, is the monarch, and his mother, Fada bin Fala Al Hitlain, is the king's third wife. Can you imagine he's an owner of $3 billion in assets? The Saudi royal family's overall assets are estimated to be close to $11 trillion. If we solely consider Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud's wealth, it is close to $3 billion. This is why Prince Mohammed bin Salman prefers to lead a royal life. Prince Salman is well known throughout the world for his extravagant spending and lavish lifestyle. Prince Salman enjoys driving high-end cars. Mohammed bin Salman likes expensive and luxurious automobiles. His automotive collection includes Rolls Royces, Bugattis, Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and Ferraris. Every month, Prince spends scores of rupees on the upkeep of these luxury automobiles. Do you know he even gifted a half million dollars car to the footballer for defeating Argentina? On November 22nd, Saudi Arabia defeated Argentina in one of the World Cups and recorded a famous victory that delighted Mohammed bin Salman. While they are celebrating this much-anticipated victory, they will receive a spectacular gift from the delighted Crown Prince. According to CNN, the Crown Prince has decided to give each of the players who beat Argentina a Rolls-Royce Phantom, the basic model of which costs around $460,000 as a thank you for the performance and as a motivational tool for the next match, which they will play against Poland. With a good performance in that game, Saudi Arabia might make history by qualifying for the round of 16. MBS, as he prefers to be known, is a devoted fan of the beautiful game and announced a national holiday last Wednesday to commemorate the victory of the Saudi national team against the Argentine national team in the World Cup. In retrospect, Bin Salman's present is reminiscent of the Rolls-Royce that soccer star Saeed Ol Awairan allegedly received after scoring a great goal in the World Cup in the United States. While Bin Salman is making news for his expensive gift to his players, human rights organizations continue to highlight Saudi Arabia's awful human rights situation. Now let's talk about the amazing yacht that he owns. In 2019, Prince Mohammed bin Salman also purchased a luxury boat. It costs around $400 million. On this yacht, Salman and his buddies frequently enjoy the nightlife. Serene, the $400 million super yacht owned by Russian businessman Yuri Scheffler, then by Prince Mohammed bin Salman, and chartered by Bill Gates is a magnificent masterpiece deserving of every accolade. According to Forbes, the Serene was the first superyacht built by Italy's Fincentieri Yard and was previously one of the world's three largest yachts. At 439 feet, it trailed Roman Abramovich's 550-foot eclipse and steel magnet Viktor Rashikov's 459-foot ocean victory. Let's take a deeper look at the Serene superyacht's allure and how it captivated the Saudi prince with everything. Serene is a vessel that's difficult to surpass when it comes to eye-catching features and a seemingly infinite number of facilities. The ship has seven decks and 4,500 square meters of interior space designed by Pascal Raymond of Raymond Langton Design with a tremendous beam of 60 feet. Serene was built in 2011 with a steel hull and an aluminum superstructure. Its unique selling point is the abundance of conveniences and luxury that are difficult to come across. This characteristic has drawn the world's wealthiest. Serene comes with a massive interior sea water pool, and if that wasn't enough, one of the two helipads converts to another pool or dance floor. The opulent owner's stateroom is a magnificent double cabin with its own swim platform and elevator. Furthermore, 12 beautiful staterooms accommodate 24 guests who can also board the yacht's submarine to explore the world below. Serene appears to be the ideal yacht to lease for a family as you learn more about the onboard facilities. From an unusual snow room to multiple children's playrooms, a climbing wall between the deck slides, and a fascinating underwater viewing room, there is enough to do. There's also two jacuzzis and a dance floor in the sun deck. 
Most passengers will be drawn to the ship's observation deck, which features a fully supplied wet bar and more sun loungers. The boat with everything would be incomplete without a comprehensive selection of tenders and toys. No surprise Bill Gates. One of the world's richest men couldn't resist its allure and rented the serene superyacht for an estimated $5 million per week in 2014. The family spent a week on a yacht off the coast of Porto Servo, Sardinia. And he has Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, the most famous and valuable painting in the world, stored in his home in Serene. Mohammed bin Salman's family's net wealth exceeds $1 trillion. It is expected that he has a luxurious superyacht that can compete with palaces on. But the glitz extends beyond the vessel and its numerous amenities. Inside Serene is the world's most expensive painting, Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, which was purchased for about $500 million in 2017, more than the boat itself. For a long time, the whereabouts of this Leonardo da Vinci masterwork were unknown. According to Al Jazeera, Mohammed bin Salman brought the picture and hung it on the Serene Superyacht's cabin wall. Both transactions totaled more than $1 billion. The painting that was supposed to decorate the Louvre Museum in Abu Dhabi never appeared at the scheduled ceremonies. This left folks bewildered and wondering where the costly painting was, except for one. Sure, you can't even begin to guess the prince's partying style. Can you imagine he spent $8 million on the birthday celebration? Prince Salman's birthday party is also the subject of much debate. He spent $8 million on his birthday night many years ago. This party was attended by celebrities such as Hollywood singers Pitbull, JLo, and Shakira. During this time, Prince also invited many famous people from around the world to his party. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman owns the world's most expensive house. The Saudi prince purchased the property two years ago, but no one knows who the owner is. Mohammed bin Salman has added the world's most expensive house to his collection after purchasing the most expensive painting, $450 million for Salvatore Mundi, allegedly painted by Leonardo da Vinci, and one of the most luxurious yachts in the world, Serene, $500 million, as well as the famous English football club in Newcastle United, $409 million. How much did the opulent castle set him back? It cost Mohammed bin Salman at least $275 million. According to official estimations, the controversial Arab prince who is accused of dictatorial tendencies and the destruction of multiple towns for his own financial interests is one of the wealthiest persons on the planet with a fortune of more than 250 billion euros. Who is the owner of the world's most expensive house? The crown prince of Saudi Arabia's new home is the Chateau Louis XIV in the French town of Louvisien, near the Palace of Versailles. It's a 5,000 square meter structure on 23 hectares of land. According to AS, Ahmad Khashoggi, the grandson of millionaire arms merchant Adnan Khashoggi, dismantled the original castle and rebuilt one with 21st century amenities. The palace, which was built between 2008 and 2011, is reminiscent of 17th century French castles. Now, what are the features of this luxurious house? Although it has the appearance of a 17th century castle, it has all of the facilities of a luxury residence. The castle features 10 bedroom suites, a big reception hall with a 50-foot painted vaulted ceiling, a wine cellar with space for 3,000 bottles, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, a private cinema, a library, two dance halls, a nightclub, a squash court, a massive aquarium with sturgeon swimming and it's one of the most remarkable features of the luxury residence. Chateau Louis XIV also has cutting-edge technology. According to the source cited, a smartphone may be used to manage the handmade fountains in front of the palace, the sound system, the lights, and the air conditioning. The 270 million hero castle was one of the possibilities examined by Kim Kardashian and Kanye West for their engagement in 2014, but they ultimately chose the Fort Belvedere Castle in Florence, Italy. So this was all about the luxurious life of the crown prince. If you like this video, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, good luck!